It's a 500-year-old Japanese tradition passed down from generation to generation. YRL's Erica Natividad armed up and learned more at Dragon Fencing Academy about this age-old form of martial arts. Chances are the last time you thought of taking up a new physical activity, maybe Japanese sword fighting didn't come to mind first. But we're here at Dragon Fencing Academy in Richmond Hill, where Sensei Tong will be showing us the finer points of Kenjutsu. Kenjutsu refers to uh, classical styles of Japanese swordsmanship. There are many, many styles of swordsmanship, and the one that we practice here uh, is actually an old style. It's called Katori Shintoryu. Um, it was created in 1460, and it's probably around 550 years old. style of swordsmanship was, for a long time, passed down as a secret tradition among samurai soldiers. It involves no kicking or punching, instead warriors are trained to become skilled in a variety of possible weapons in case they lose their sword on the battlefield. Uh, we start out with sword versus sword, uh, which is uh, the most basic scenario, You're fighting uh, against another swordsman with a sword. Uh, the next weapon that we usually study after that is sword versus bow, which is a six foot wooden staff. And that creates a little bit of a problem because now you have a long, much longer weapon. And how do you deal with a longer weapon when you only have a, a sword? Uh, other weapons we study are short sword. If you lose your sword, uh, you, have, uh, you would normally pull out the second sword and you'd have to be able to fend yourself, defend yourself with a shorter weapon. Students learn the techniques through the very traditional practice of kata, prearranged patterns of movement, much like choreography. Even though it looked a little intimidating at first, I asked Sensei Chong if he could teach me a few of the basics. We're going to learn one of the basic blocks, and it's called kogasen. So you're going to move the right leg 45 degrees back. Okay, let's try that first. Good. And maintain body posture. And then you're going to raise the sword to block the incoming sword. Yes, make sure you cross your wrists. Good. And look up, back is straight, head is up. Very nice. We may not be arming ourselves with swords and spears on the battlefield these days, but the students here say the benefits of learning a technique like this extend far beyond the classroom. I guess it's kind of fun because it's a little bit of stress relief because I'm always at school, right? But being active, it makes me happy. And I really love martial arts, so it's kind of something that I just enjoy doing. Keep it tight and vertical. And you spin. Anyone can do Kenjutsu. Um, again, it, it's all about determination, and it's all about perseverance, and it's all about putting in the hard work. something that'll challenge your body, mind, and spirit, why not take up Japanese sword fighting here at Dragon Fencing Academy in Richmond Hill? I'm Erica Natividad, and that's York Region Living.